The Amazon rainforest is often referred to as the lungs of the planet. It's a huge carbon sink, of course, which means that it absorbs more carbon dioxide than it emits, so helping keep the global temperature rise down. But as we've heard, the Amazon is being destroyed at ever-increasing rates, leading to reports that it's close to a tipping point, i.e. emitting more carbon than it absorbs. So, are we too reliant on the Amazon? So let's uh, put, put this question to you, Richard. And we're used to hearing of the Amazon rainforest as the world's most important carbon sink. So how worrying do you find these reports of record illegal deforestation? Uh, what will happen to, to climate change if we do see the Amazon starting to emit more carbon dioxide than it absorbs? I think it is very worrying. I mean, the great, the three, three great rainforests of the world, the Amazon, the Congo, and uh, in, in Indonesia, Borneo, and so on, um, you know, have absorbed about a you know, quarter of the carbon that we've put into the atmosphere. But we know that that is weakening, uh, declined by something like a third over the 30 years from, from 1990. Um, there was a report out earlier this year showing that in a part of the Amazon has changed from being a net carbon absorber to a net carbon emitter. And there is a lot of science around over the last 10 years showing that you could get to a state where the Amazon basically goes from being a forest to being a savanna. So anything that increases the risks of that happening, I think, ought to be taken very seriously. And one thing that I picked up from your report that is absolutely true is that this is not an accident that this is happening under Jair Bolsonaro. His philosophy is that... Uh, that environmentalists, that indigenous people who oppose this kind of development are somehow anti-Brazil. It's anti-Brazil's economic development. And um, it's no surprise, uh, I, I did a lot of peaceful analysis a couple of years ago when we saw lots of forest fires breaking out in the summer and you were seeing a much bigger increase in forest fires in provinces that were governed by Bolsonaro allies than in other provinces. Uh, and Cece, do we rely too much on the Amazon as a carbon sink? Are there alternatives out there? Are there other parts of the world where trees can be planted and we can stop worrying so much about the Amazon? Yeah, um, the Amazon is really, really important. So, uh, you know, we must do everything possible to protect it. But you are right. I think, um, you know, we... There are things that we can actually do. And one thing is by planting tree. And a study has actually shown that if we grow uh, 1 million trees, uh, we have the potential to keep uh, global temperature rises to be below uh, 1.5 degrees. And so this really, um, you know, is a uh, very uh, hopeful in a way. So I have very good news, actually. So the earth is now actually greener than 20 years ago. And that's largely because we have uh, grown a lot more trees. And India and China have actually grown enough trees to an area uh, which is the equivalent of the Amazon forest. Um, so I think this is really strong evidence to show that we as human beings, we are capable of change. We can change. We can do stuff together if we want to. Okay. And um, I'm um, yeah, um, I'm just hopeful that we'll do stuff together to solve the climate crisis. It's always good to end on the word hopeful. We will leave it there. Dr. Cece Hu, Richard Black, always good to see you both. Thanks very much indeed.